Aisa Kelly, and I am here with Paul Poli and Frank Quinn, and we are at the Art Gallery up at Patriot Place, and he's going to tell us about an upcoming event. Yes, Patriot Place gave us this gallery two and a half years ago to uh, make it look nice. We're only open on the weekends, and for the next two weekends, we're featuring a Masterpiece Masquerade, which is uh, a goal of copying a masterpiece, but with a twist. So come on inside. Awesome. So we're inside, Frank, and this beautiful masterpiece. Can you tell us, yeah, using this as an example of what's going on? Well, we're starting with, uh, with me, and uh, what I submitted was uh, a famous painting uh, by Edvard Munch from, uh, I think, Norway uh, or Sweden. Uh, it's called The Scream. It was uh, painted about 1900 or so. And uh, what I've done, my twist, if you will, is to put earphones on the screamer and uh, title it Rap Music. We like it. Now we're going to take a little tour and see some other of the artists and along the way vocal artists. Who is this? Laura Zangetti. Uh, this is a Benson study after the famous painter Frank Benson, who was from Massachusetts. And uh, in about 1900, he taught at the uh, Museum of Fine Arts. And he's very famous for these women looking uh, in the ocean near Gloucester. And uh, you can see that her twist is uh, uh, the lady is standing on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> All right, so who else? Guide us over to some more wall flowers, and we'll see some of the other beauties on the way. This is Lisa Bloom's uh, submittal. Uh, it's a copy of a famous painting by Winslow Homer, another New Englander. Uh, and instead of a basket of clams, uh, these two young boys are carrying a basket of a puppy. Awesome. I love these. Right now, Leanne Gorbett, one of my favorites. I have a few in my house. Yes, she is uh, another uh, copy of a uh, Homer, uh, and uh, in this case, uh, she's titled it Sunlight, Shadow, and a Kindle instead of a book. And you can see that uh, she's uh, reading a Kindle, and also she has uh, flip flops on instead of shoes. Oh, and what's this? Nancy Basevich. The next one by Nancy Basevich. It's uh, after a cassat painting uh, where uh, the woman is uh, is sewing, I believe. And in this case, Nancy has uh, painted a, a copy with uh, her texting, Young Mother Texting by Nancy Basevich. All right. And then two paintings down is Cindy Kerr's submittal. Uh, which is a famous uh, sergeant painting called Carnation Lily Rose. And uh, in this case, what she's entitled it is Easter Lilies, Easter Eggs. And as you can see, instead of flowers, she's put Easter eggs in the, uh, in the, in the ground there. And then Kathy Hutch. Kathy Hutchinson. Uh, after Degas. And this is a, a famous uh, painting by uh, Degas, a pastelist, mostly uh, in the late 1800s in France, and uh, instead of uh, having the abyssin drinker, if I pronounce that correctly, uh, she's called it the pale ale drinker, and uh, she's done a, a pastel of this couple sitting in a in a in a bar, uh, but with pale ale instead of uh, instead of abyssin. All right. So when, if someone wants to come down and go to this show, can you tell us the hours? Yeah, uh, Friday is 5 to 9, Saturday is uh, 1 to 9, and Sunday is uh, noon to 6. And uh, we're usually open just on the weekends because uh, most of the other artists have jobs, unlike me. And uh, so I'm usually here on Friday nights, and then the rest of the artists, there's seven of us total, uh, take turns minding the store on the weekend. And then, as I say, usually we have our own stuff here uh, in addition to guest artists, but in this case, for these two weekends in, in October, uh, we're just having uh, the Masterpiece Masquerade show. All right, well, it's a lot of fun. Come down and see everything they have to offer um, and meet Frank in person. And thank you very much. Thanks. Ellen Little submittal uh, after Monet. 
It's called Frog's Dilemma. It's, uh, it's Monet's really fun, but she's put a, a little frog in the, in the corner trying to decide between uh, which leaf to jump on next. Really, it's a submittal. It's a watercolor copy of uh, Mary Cassatt. And uh, here her twist is that she's uh, put flip-flops on her feet instead of uh, shoes, and also she's removed the leggings on the, uh, on the legs here. Uh, he called it El Jello, but it's <laughs> a famous, uh, very big painting at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum uh, of a uh, uh, flamenco dancer. Scotty's a uh, girl with a pearl earring, but she's changed it to a girl with a uh, dragon tattoo, and also, uh, what do you call those, dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Very imaginative, wonderful brain. And then next to her is uh, is Tony uh, Tony Donovan's, uh, which he is called Vincent or channeling Vincent Van Gogh, and uh, this is a famous church at Arles painting that Van Gogh did 120 years ago, and here he's put a little sign uh, Bingo at uh, 8 p.m. <laughs>